Welcome back. In this video, we will model Tesla's working capital components, trade receivable, inventory, and trade payable. We'll do that using the DAYS technique, a standard method applied by bankers and finance professionals performing corporate valuation. Our goal is to understand in how many days, on average, does Tesla collect trade receivables, keeps inventory in its warehouse, and pays trade payables to suppliers. Earlier in this case study, we calculated financial ratios and days for the historical period. These values have been linked to the working capital sheet you see here. In addition, this is where we have Tesla's historical DSO, DIO, and DPO figures. DSO plus DIO minus DPO gives us net trade cycle. Let's assume Tesla's working capital would continue the same pattern during the forecast period. I'll use the average function to forecast days. However, please pay attention that I am only fixing column references. This is practical, as it would allow me to paste the function downwards. The net trade cycle function is the same as the one we have on the left, so I'll simply copy it. Good. Now that we have DSO, DIO, and DPO figures, it would be quite easy to reverse calculate trade receivable, inventory, and trade payable in the forecast period. However, before we do that, we'll have to prepare a P&L output sheet. This will make things easier, as all P&L references will point to that sheet.